Okay. Have some mushrooms here, just a couple. These are Gymnopolis. Uh, some Plutaeus. And <coughs> these are Foliota. Um, they key out to Foliota velaglutinosa, however, uh, there are a number of uh, macroscopically in, uh, indistinct uh, species which this could be, so you really have to look at the microscope to figure it out, but probably something close to um, Foliota velaglutinosa. Anyway, <coughs> they have a pellicle you can see on this one. I already started to peel off the pellicle. It's pretty sticky. Um, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Start out and just try and peel it off. It's a separable uh, uh, membrane. Let's, um, let's see. Try to pull it off here. Ah. Let's see. Here we go. Um, I'm not sure you can see that very well. There we go. Let's see, I'll move the light source. There we go. That's better. So you can just peel this off. It probably won't come off now. It won't come off altogether, but... And this also, um, when they're dry, you won't be able to do this nearly as well. Uh, but the pellicle does rehydrate. Um, and, let's see. So this is, um... This is, a uh, um, a significant um, identification characteristic. Let's see if we can get some more. It's kind of fun. Um, a lot of the uh, Stropharyaceae uh, species and and uh, genera in that in that uh, family have pellicles. So do uh, a lot of boletes, um, sulis, and whatnot. Looks like the first one was the best. Ah! One more time. There we go. See that there? Kinda cool. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Alright, well, you saw that. I'm gonna get my phone. Alright, bye.